So my name is Ashley Fiandaka. I'm with Purdue Extension. I'm a community development educator for Allen County. So I'm standing in the kitchen of Johnny May Farm, and our farm is located in the Renaissance Point neighborhood in Fort Wayne. So we have a partnership with the city of Fort Wayne and Purdue Extension. Uh, we have a lead farmer, his name is Cameron Rule, and he is responsible for making sure that the crops are planted and going through all the crop management plan, but all of us kind of chip in to help out with what's going on. So the commercial kitchen was designed to be able to teach programming. This is an educational farm. It's meant to not only provide produce for the community, but also to provide education for the community. So we can provide cooking demonstrations here. We can provide samples here at our Friday markets. We do canning demonstrations. So the commercial kitchen can be used for a lot of different aspects of the educational uh, piece of this. But also, if somebody was to come in and say, you know, I really want to create something for the community, we could open the kitchen for that as well. So in 2014, the farm was opened by the city of Fort Wayne with other partners. And they started it in memory of Johnny May, who was an, a fantastic community leader who used this facility as a food pantry. So she got food from other food banks and brought it in and set it up and then put food bags together as well as processed food and put it out to the community right out the back door of this, this area. So Johnny May was here feeding the community. She would cook here. She would create those food bags here. And she did it for a long, long time before she passed away. And so we felt that it was important as Purdue to come in and honor that vision the farm was started by the city of Fort Wayne, but when they asked us to be a part of it, uh, shortly after 2017, we jumped on board. So we have a Friday market every Friday from May until November. We market that uh, two to six. So the community comes in, we ask them what day worked best for them, what time worked best for them. We do see quite a few of the regular members coming through and getting the produce. So we sell it at about market rate price. But the, any produce that isn't used is given away to uh, several food organizations and pantries within the neighborhood. So you have Community Harvest Food Bank, which is a huge food bank that has outreach. We have Vincent Village, which is a transitional shelter housing that gets that. We have a couple of other partners that we give our produce to if it doesn't sell. And anybody that would come into market and say, look, I just don't have the funding, they would absolutely get the produce for free. Part of the reason that we got involved and part of the way that we got involved is making sure that the produce that we were selling and or giving out was culturally relevant to this area. We found out very quickly that certain things weren't going to sell here versus a lot of collard greens, a lot of tomatoes, a lot of cabbage, uh, a lot of brassica type plants, and then also carrots were very widely requested but closer to Thanksgiving and we do farm here through November. So we just paid attention to what the community said. Do you have any of this? Can I have this? And our green beans sell out within the first hour. Our greens sell out quite frequently. We do have a couple people that say, look, I don't get off work. Can you please put some behind for me? And we have a few refrigerators that we can do that for them. So we just paid attention to what was culturally relevant, but also what we were being asked to produce and planted them that way. A lot of the pests that we have faced have been beetle related. So flea beetles have been our biggest issue. We do treat for them. That's the one thing that we have treated for, but we haven't found too many issues with pests. We do garden on raised beds, so that has helped some with some of the dirt issues that we've had and soil issues that we've had. We do have to raise our garden on raised beds because of the lead content of the soil. We brought in soil to do that. So the pest issues have been relatively tame. Um, I think we find that we are utilizing good pests to come in. So the way we've tackled that is by spraying organic pesticide. So our mission is education, is Purdue Extension, and Fort Wayne has allowed us to do what we feel is relevant for this community. Community engagement has been really hard because they opened in 2014, was doing really well, and then we had some turnover. We were not involved at that point in time. The city of Fort Wayne was unable to manage it the way that they felt that it needed to be managed. And then in 2020, we were unable to run our farmer's market due to COVID. So the community engagement hasn't been as high as what it had been originally, and that is not what the mission was designed for with Johnny May in mind. So now we are running our educational programs out of here. We have, again, canning classes, cooking classes, but also trying to start some youth programming. So youth development programming, spark clubs through 4-H. Our mission is education. It's also to provide healthy, relevant produce to the community. So we're just continuing to drive that community engagement. We're continuing to drive the educational component. And the kitchen is an opportunity for us to reach out to the community. We'll come in as educators and say, 
you know what, let's make some greens today and show somebody how to make them different than with the traditional ingredients that they would have used, that their parents would have used, such as bacon fat and butter. We can put them with a little less salt and a little less fat and still make them taste good. We'll bring cookies if we need to and make them here just to give the community something that they aren't used to. And so it's been a really positive tool to use to make sure that we're reaching kind of all aspects of the community, youth all the way through. I got to meet Johnny May's daughter today. She was in for a program that we were running here this morning and talking about all the great things that her mom has done. And of course we know kind of what the farm is for, but what Johnny May's mission was, which was feeding the community. Mm -hmm. We want to go above and beyond that, feed the community, but also then educate the community. Yeah. And so, and it's even educating them on how to garden themselves. We, we have seeds for free and then how to control the pests that we have without utilizing things that could be harmful to our environment or our soil. And then also figuring out what they do if their crops aren't growing, what are they doing if they need to rotate, how do they you know, rehab their soil even. And so we want to align our mission to help the community and so she started talking about who she was and what her mom used to do and it was just fascinating to sit and hear it from somebody that was growing up here. And it's been transformed I and mean, we're in an old fire station. So they took it from a fire station that can no longer be used because the doors aren't big enough for the consistent fire truck and make it into everything that it is today which is a community space. And we want to give it back to the community. We don't want it, I don't want it brought away. I want to give it back. That's what they have and Johnny May was here designing this entire process to be an asset to the community. So, and the kids know us here. They're here, we keep popsicles for them. We run our blender bike for them. The people that are here every Friday, they know who we are and we're getting to know them again and getting them to really want to engage with us. So I, it was cool to meet her and kind of hear what she had to say. Her son, I guess, was here last week. So some of the other educators got to meet him. It was cool. I mean, it's been cool to kind of have this whole learning experience designed around somebody who did this out of their own pocket, out of the goodwill of their heart. And it's been really interesting process for us. So this is a food desert. That's part of the reason that the city decided that they were going to put a farm in place. Pontiac Street Market is a partnership market between local hospitals, local vendors brought together and we'll have a produce stand there as well. And it's about half a mile from here. And they'll sell at market right there too, but it's just nice that they're trying to address the issue of food desert, especially when you're in such an urban area and still facing food crisis. So Johnny May Farm has its own Facebook page. It has its own website. And then Purdue Extension, Allen County, all of us educators are here almost every Friday, but you will find at least one educator here every Friday. We try to be here every Tuesday, kind of get together and make sure that we're helping out with our farmer. Like I said, it's kind of an all hands on deck sort of thing. So they can reach out to us if they reach Allen County Extension Office. They can also reach out to us through the Facebook page that's monitored daily. Yeah.